the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. I thought it was a great night of action for the fans. Uh, in the opening bout, Andre, Andres, uh, he had a solid bout. Um, like to see him continue to work and improve. Um, great experience for him. Good fight, good win. Um, in the second bout, Xavier Martinez, young, young, young stud, um, great work for the uh, solid guy. Uh, main event, uh, Angelo Leo. Uh, I thought it was great experience for him. He fought a very tough uh, opponent. The opponent came to uh, came to fight. Leo, Leo used his uh, his speed. Um, I thought he made a big difference in the second half of the fight. He picked it up. He started throwing more combinations, and once he done that, then he. But he was at as the fight progressed. You could see that he was learning, and that's what you want from these young prospects. But this is what it's all about: um, building um, and getting better each fight, and that's what it's all about. It was a step up for all of them, and they all passed with flying colors. But Xavier's particularly stands out with the knockout that he got. Where do you see these three guys going? Uh, right back. Bring them right back, and um in another fight and um, get better. And that's what, that's what it's all about with these kind of fights. Um, I'm glad that we had the opportunity. Thank you to uh, Showtime, Steven Espinosa, um, for giving us this opportunity. It's a great platform for these young kids to display their talent and to continue, as I say, to get better and better each fight, um, to go from prospect to contender, go for one day uh, fighting for a title. And I saw Lance Pugmire recently reported that um, Javante Davis and July in Baltimore. Can you say anything about that? I don't know. Other, other than then he's fighting, and he's going to be fighting in the summertime. And very, very excited for him to uh, bring a big fight back home. Um, working on it now, and um, it's going to be a great event. And yours are close to the area. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot of boxing fans down there. We've seen with Lamont Peterson last fight with Limited. We've seen before. Um, what do you guys think of that? Um, the DMV area, I think you guys are going down there. What do you think of that boxing scene? Uh, it's a lot of great young talent there in the uh, DMV area, and we're looking to get some of that talent. Now, London, uh, obviously, always keep your guys busy at all times. Uh, great show tonight here at Samstown, as always. We have Orlando Romero fighting on the Danny Garcia undercard April the 20th. Obviously, you guys are a co-promoting that. Can you talk to us a little about Broly, uh, not just on that card, but the card overall in itself? Because I think that's a terrific card. Oh, yeah, it's a great, it's a, it's a great card. It's a great main event, Danny and uh, Granados. Uh, Great styles, uh, the, the two styles mesh very well. I, I expect that fight to end in a knockout. No. <laughs> Is, I, I think that fight's going to end in a knockout. Their styles are perfect for each other. Perfect. Now, obviously, you guys have worked uh, with Granados in the past. You guys were also co-promoting uh, the Adrian Broner and the Granados fight, which was a spectacular fight, very entertaining. A lot of people thought Broner actually lost that fight. What do you expect about Granados, or what can you say from many people that may not know who he is? He, he's tough as nails. He has a big heart, always comes to the fight. He's been on the, the wrong side of a, a few decisions, um, and he's looking to, he's looking to get back. A win over Danny Garcia puts him right in the thick of things, and that's what he'll be looking to do. Danny, on the other hand, he knows that he wants to make a statement with this fight. Um, with this fight, uh, fighting um, Granados is a great opportunity. I'm on a major platform for Danny to go out there and do his thing. So it's a great fight for the fans um, with uh, a lot at stake for both fighters, and it's going to be a great fight. Recently, Floyd, uh, I believe he was in L.A., They caught, TMZ caught him. Uh, and he was willing to put up large amounts of money on two of his fighters, that being Rolando Romero and obviously Javante Davis. Why do you think that, I mean, Javante's proven world champion multiple times, but why do you think he he's all, he just has so much confidence in his guys uh, to, to put that amount of money? Uh, many people don't really know who Rolando Romero is. Uh, we know him because we're in the Bible. Why do you think Floyd is always behind his fighters 100% of the time? Because he believes in his fighters. We, we both do. And that's what, is, as a promoter, you have to do that uh, to believe in your fighters. Uh, uh, Rolando Romero is an exciting young talent. Um, looking to bring him back April the 20th. Um, 
Sign up for for the KOs. Sign up for KOs. You know, Roley's knocking everybody out. He's one of the most exciting young fighters in the sport, and I'm looking to uh, continue to um, showcase his talent. And that seemed like um, Ryan Garcia's promoter wanted to make that fight at this time, anyways. It's okay. I mean, it, it's okay. The cream always rises to the top. The uh, 130 pound division is uh, has a lot of talent in there, a lot of opportunities for you know a number of different fighters. Now, obviously, uh, one of those fighters is Tevin Farmer. He just came off of a successful victory on March the 15th in Philadelphia. Uh, that's been a name that everybody's been familiar to, especially when it comes to Javante Davis. Javante Davis in any fight is the A side, but what do you feel as a promoter needs to happen or can happen in order to make that unification come to fruition? I'm working on Tank's next fight. That's all I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about anybody in the 130 pound division uh, as it relates to Javante Davis. Javante Davis is hands down the best fighter in that division and he'll continue to go out there and prove that. And it seemed like he was going to really have his time to shine against Morris, but unfortunately that fight couldn't happen. Unfortunately, and um, you know, things happen. It's, yeah. part, it's part of the sport. And um, you know, he still had a, a great fight that night, a great turnout, a sellout. You know, um, again, we know that, again, I've said it, and I'll say it again, Javante Tavis will be the biggest star in the entire sport. Um, he's a guy that, he's a tremendous draw, he's an excellent young fighter, um, and he's doing his thing. Before we let you go, they're talking about Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao. If that actually happens in July, what do you think of that fight? Uh, if, it, if it happens, yeah. it's a great fight. It's a great fight. Two two great fighters. Manny's a legend. Uh, Keith is an excellent fighter. Um, it would be a great fight if it happens. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars and Title betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.